Good afternoon and welcome back to the next shed build video and in this video I'm going to make a bench and a door out of all this that's the idea anyway So I need to determine the size of this doorway so I'll start off with the height I know it's a bit more than 1.8 metres because um, this upright frame is 1.8 metres but there's also the air uh, this, this one, this, uh, this one that goes across us so that'll be an extra 2 inches so I'll just measure it from the bottom and see where we are like I said we're just over 1.8 metres Right, we're going to have to take it from the top Where's my tape measure in? <clears throat> we're about 1.81 one one metres, yeah And then about, let's just check it again I'll do this side as well So that's a bit more, we'll go for about 183 or oh, 6 foot, 18, we'll go 183 just so I'll allow a bit of a gap at top and bottom and just check it again, check it this side. Yeah, 183, that should allow for a bit of a, a bit of gap top and bottom. So we need to uh, do two uprights, 183 tall. That's some going across that will uh, fit between the uprights and they'll all be the same length so just mark this out, it's the first piece of wood and we'll measure 1.83 metres and we'll get it cut out on the on the saw well I'm going to mark on here and all you guys around here, you should be in a good place you go pros a wide angle then so you'll be able to see what I'm doing so I'll just mark it Mark it out with my sharpie. Then set up my mitre saw. Just make sure to make sure it's uh, it's all straight. Seems this one seems to fall out of alignment. It's a bit stuck for room doing it in here, but just get this all clamped into place, it's all secure, make sure it's all straight and level. And just get the blade lined up, which is almost perfect, yep, yeah. right, okay, can clamp. Clamp this down and we're going to go. That's our first one done. So, what I can do is I can get another piece and cut it to the same length. Just move that out of the way, get another another length of this, this wood. This should come in useful somewhere for the bench. So, grab the piece of wood try not try not to knock the camera line this up this this stuff's good it's ideal for framing door and bench and it really 275 for I don't remember what length was I think it's 2.4 meters from weeks so yeah definitely having some of that so I just need to make sure everything's lined up at this end Cheers. Yep, that's good. And just move all this and if we've got it right. 
mark it off, I think that's a bit easiest way. Yeah. Just mark it off and then let's have a look. Let's make sure I need to be a bit closer in. Yep, that's looking good. And that's our two uprights for the door done. So I've got my two uprights here and there's a 16mm gap here but that's not a problem because the, uh, the feather border will, uh, will cover that and I can just put a bit of beading as well round but what I need to do is I need to measure this gap again I need to allow for a gap you know for the, for the hinge there's not a problem I can uh, what I can do is uh, put a bit of beading on here and that, that should help, so I just need to measure the gap top and bottom and um, I need to allow for a gap so oops. best not having, having back, me back to the camera I'll just work out our, our side it's a bit difficult Move it, move it a bit further forward where I can get tape measure in. We're looking at it's just it's just over sixty eight, I think sixty eight mil will Yeah, we'll 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 go for sixty eight mil and then there's still a bit of a gap side to side, so that's that's absolutely fine. So we'll get three of them cut to the size. Unfortunately these off cuts were too short for the for the side one, so we'll just have to measure it. I think we'll, we'll easily get three out of this. So we'll mark off 68mm. So 68mm there. And then use the uh, the combination square just get, this, get this in the right place just a bit far over enough it's about right clamp it down make sure it's actually level Two of them compare, yet they're about the same. There you go, told you so, and you would get all get three. Just two horizontal pieces out of, out of one of these. Is a, 
the basic frame of the door all cut to size. So I'll start to put it all together. So I've got the basic shape of the door put together. So I just need to drive some screws in. And this might be a bit easier said than done. So here we go, first screw. the other side but I'll do the one at the other end so I'll just move you around you can see that so this might be a bit awkward but we can get we can get in at this end so this is the way to go again. I just realised I've used the off cut instead of that one so I'm going to have to do that one again see. So about keeping it real on this channel you see the fails as well as the successes and the, the mistakes I make along the way because I'm, I'm not a carpenter I'm just an average DIYer so I'll get that taken out and we'll get the right upright put in well not upright but the right one put in so with the basic shape of the door completed, let's just try this out for size. And it is looking quite good. Yep, that's brilliant. And it'll have a, have a left a gap either side, as well as top and bottom, just to allow for hinges and stuff. And like I said, I've put a bit of beading along here to... Uh, to stop, the, I mean, to stop the door from pushing in and it'll also keep out the draft so I'll carry on I'll put this second upright I marked it out in one spot so I just put the other upright across here then we can do some diagonals so to mark out my diagonals I've plumped this piece in and just mark it off there and there and that should be the right size piece for the diagonal Right. Clamp it and then just cut it, cut it to size with the mitre saw and I should be able to get the correct angle. Let's have a look. So I'll cut that off camera and then we'll try it for size. So I've marked out roughly where I'm going to have my hinges and my first one's going to be about, be about there. Get my screw. Get the engine in place. Get this one secured in. screws and 
I think I've run into uh, one of the screws for, for cladding. <laughs> So I'll just well, retrieve, see if I can retrieve this screw. Right, I've got my hinges in, so I'm just going to line up the door frame and just see where we need to be with this. And just mark up the position of the ink. And use a bit of off, off cuts of uh, of the ply just to uh, space the door out, getting in about in approximately the right spot. So top of the hinge, bottom of the hinge. I just do the mark out the top and the bottom, and I can get in, in about the right place. And I need to support the door. Where these off cuts are would come in useful. I need a bit more. Back it out a bit. Then, sorry you can't see it, but we might, we might where we wanted the top and bottom of our inch to be. So just extend those marks. And so, a bit more support is needed. So as if I'm managing with what I've got, you, you can see it's just a bit too high, there's a mark there for the top and the bottom hinge, it just needs to come up about about 16mm or so. Have some, some more off cuts. Just keep packing it out till, till it's about the right height. Not too high. Just put a few out. We're close, we're close, we're close. <sighs> to be
off the first screwing, so check out all this packing. Some more in. A bit of, bit of uh, some injection, and that's hinged with an H. Somebody once said. Just to keep it from moving. And what did I do with the screw? I put it down somewhere and I cannot see it. Put it out of the way. There it is. So that's all our hinges attached, so just check it, make sure we're good. Yep, we're perfect. Well, as perfect as can be, it's not, it's not sticking, it's not catching, so let's get the rest of these screws in off camera. Just show you, I've got some boards cut to, cut to the right size. Yeah, that's looking good. So put you guys on time lapse while I screw these onto the door frame. the door I'm basically done so I just need to uh, add a bit of security and then got a secure building so it is now time to make the bench there's a bench top the MDF I got from B&Q and I think with all this lot that I've put together I should be able to make up a frame so I'll do all that off camera and then you'll see it when it's uh, pretty much finished so that's the, uh, the frame for the uh, workbench and it's quite steady, put a few supports for this, this uh, MDF 
So get the MDF top screwed on and I'll get back to you when it's done. So that's the workbench done. Uh, not quite finished there. Uh, probably get a bit more wood from wicks and then finish it off properly. But it's usable as it is. There we go, there's our door. So got a place I can I can look and can start bringing my tools back out of storage. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell and you get notified when a video come, of mine comes out. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.